so that leads nicely into my next question, is what you hope to accomplish in your overall field over the next, say, 10 years or so. It sounds like moving into, even further into the, I would beyond say, the shipwreck. I would say that's the further recognition, further acceptance on a broader scale, uh, incorporating, um, let's start with the Pacific, so these indigenous Pacific um, stories and connections because even between Hawaii and Aotearoa and Hawaii and Tahiti and Hawaii and the Marquesas, we have these connections that we're, we know about we're, as more Tahitians learn their own language as well as more Hawaiians learn their own language. And the, the written stories that were collected you know, 150 years ago um, become uh, translated. Um, we're we're going to see even greater connections between Pacific Islanders, and to a certain extent, I think, through that lens, we could expand to the, the rest of the world. I mean, that's what the journey that Hukulea is setting off to do so, right? It's the message of climate is changing, but we're still all on one canoe, and that canoe is the planet Earth. Yeah. And uh, I think to continue to learn, as, as was said, and to engage people in acknowledging and being a part of the history and helping to record it. But I also bring it really home to Lanai. I want our young people, I want particularly the young native Hawaiian families that are generationally descended from those people who lived in the landscapes, ocean and land. Uh, I want them to become the resource managers, the stewards. I want them to continue to practice as their kupuna did and to pass that on to future generations. And we've been losing a lot of that connection. It's like your discussion about language. You know, that ho aloho, that it's awakening, it's arising again. Uh, but we must always remember that our kupuna, the elders, gave us the foundation upon which we stand, yeah? And provided that initial connection. Yeah. So it's, it's really taking, taking the, uh, as, as Kepa and I have done, taking the kuleana that has been privileged to us and then preparing to hand it off to the next generation. And that also leads nicely into my next question, which is some of the greatest challenges that you're facing over the next foreseeable future. You know, sustainability sounds like it's a concern. You know, I think climate change is going to be one of the biggest challenges for us because um, based on new information, it's happening much quicker than we were originally led to believe. And along with that climate change comes very difficult decisions about how do you, how do we save some of these um, structures that are part of that um, cultural landscape. You know, there's a the Pohaku, um, I can't remember its name, on uh, Kaho'olawe, that is, because of erosion, slipping towards the end of the cliff. I mean, at some point, we need to stop talking about what is the proper way to move it, what is Pono, and just do what our kupuna would have done. They would have recognized that there's a need. They would have certainly um, documented positions of things, and then they would have moved it back, right? Because ultimately, the responsibility is to protect as, as much as you can from danger in as safe a manner as you can. Keeping the same orientation allows the stories to continue and the connection to continue to that particular area and it's much better that we talk about a very sacred stone that is still within 30 40 feet of its original location rather than talk about the story of how it used to be there and it's now over that cliff yeah and you know the kupuna we're always prayerful you pull a more pray first, knowing more, ask permission first, and they yes. give you the guidance that you, you, you were alluding to. It's not just, oh, it's our right, we're going to do it, but also the, the sort of the, the kole kole, only talk story, what we're going to do, isn't enough. One, and in line with what he said, uh, if I bring it again home to, a, to, a, to an island landscape, uh, one of our major issues that we need to address for the perpetuation of this knowledge and practice is what do we do about the environmental degradation? 
of rising ocean levels is one thing, but us at home on Lanai, we have reefs that are being buried by sedimentation, mud slipping off the mountain because introduced ungulates were allowed to decimate forest resources. And you know, uh, it goes from the top of the mountain to the depths of the sea. It's all related. But we, we have a hard time even being able to repair on the Apapa, the reef side, if we don't repair Mauka. All connected. You can't separate it. Again, it's going to be tough decisions because it means there's a carry capacity of animals, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but the island uh, economy is somewhat at the present time um, dependent upon the hunting revenue, right, for individual families. So it's going to be um, a transition and evolution yeah. to something that allows for more control of the animals, hopefully, more rain. More prayer yes, and more yes. rain coming and allowing the plants to regenerate the uh, whole the soil, which then protects the, the reefs and the fish that live on there.